prayers happening in several parts of the country in three locations in the national capital as well as in Bhopal and elsewhere in Madhya Pradesh also. Anurag joining us with the latest on that. Anurag, tell us what's happening. Yes, Ankita. Senior BJP leaders, including Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan, performing prayers at several temples across the state uh, for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's well-being and long life. Uh, the move uh, comes a day after uh, the PM sh uh, scheduled visit to Firozpur in Punjab was cancelled over a major alleged security lapse that resulted in a blame game between the BJP and the Congress. Uh, Shivraj Singh Chan is performing Mahamritunjai for the long life and safety of the Prime Minister in Gufa Mandir in Bhopal. Uh, and Mahamritunjai chants will also be uh, uh, I mean, being performed in uh, different Jyotirlings of Madhya Pradesh like uh, Mahakaleshwar in Ujjain where BJP President, uh, State President Vidhi Sharma is performing the puja and in Onkareshwar also. Uh, the women's wing of uh, the MP BJP will also chant Mahamritunjai Mantra in each and every district of the state to protest against the Congress government in Punjab. Ankita? All right. Thanks very much, uh, Anurag, for getting us those details. So. Um, the BJP clearly not sort of losing sight of that visual spectacle now in terms of having those prayers, holding those prayers for um, the Prime Minister's safety and long life. This is uh, clearly uh, going to continue to be uh, a major political focus for uh, the BJP, even as uh, the probe into that security breach is underway, it seems this story is playing out on multiple levels, not just investigations into what took place exactly that led to the Prime Minister's convoy being stranded for 20 minutes. Now, probes, of course, taking place uh, at various levels, including one by the Punjab government, which is going to be um, headed by a retired uh, judge and one other person. Ghazali uh, continues to be with us. Um, Ghazali, in terms of uh, what is now coming forward by way of internal correspondence in Punjab, and this is an important point. Um, yesterday, we heard the Punjab government reiterate that uh, this was a last minute change in plan made by the Prime Minister and his convoy that they chose not to go by air because of bad weather. And uh, that's why the road hadn't been cleared in advance. Now there seems to be at least some indication that this was a route that had previously been discussed and therefore ought to have been sanitized. See, there is a lot of trust deficit as well between the farmers or the protesters and the state government or the central government. And I'll just quote one particular example of what happened yesterday. A video has surfaced from the spot where PM's convoy was stopped. A lot of farmers are protesting there and suddenly one farm union leader addressing the gathering or the protester tells them that the police has just told us, he says, that the police has just told us that the PM had to cross through this highway or the flyover and we should clear the road. And he doesn't take this statement of the uh, district police seriously. He tells it later. We spoke to him and he tells us later that we never realized that the prime minister would be reaching Husainiwala or the Firozpur district by road. And we never expected or we never took this uh, the statement of the district police seriously. Now, this entire episode is being shown or being projected as if the Punjab police leaked the route plan of the prime minister to the protesters. That also shows that without knowing whether the Prime Minister had to take that route or not, the protesters had not only uh, blocked that particular highway or the or the flyover, but many adjoining roads and highways were blocked by the protesters. They were not allowing the BJP supporters to reach the rally or the venue of the rally. And the multiple videos have uh, emerged and we have seen. And I have confirmed from multiple sources that BJP supporters from the border districts of Tarn Taran, Firozpur, as well as neighboring districts of Moga were not allowed to proceed towards the rally venue, multiple checkpoints or roads were blocked, not only by the farmers, but also by the police. The police had blocked these roads to ensure that farmers don't reach the, or the protesters don't reach the venue of the rally. And in doing so, uh, many protesters were also, many uh, supporters of the BJP were also stopped from reaching the rally point. Now, all these angles will be probed by the two-member committee announced by the state government, which includes a retired judge and the principal secretary of the home department. 
Now, what does report? Whose lapse was it? Because there were more than, uh, as per the reports, we are getting more than 10,000 policemen were deployed across these Firozpur and neighboring districts to ensure that Prime Minister has to be there in that area or he has to address a rally. Now, that particular stretch of the flyover, this entire incident happened. It is still not sure that who was the particular police officer under whose jurisdiction or under whose responsibility that was to be monitored, that particular area of stretch was to be monitored. Now, this committee will perhaps come up with the details that who was the police officer who had to man that entire uh, uh, highway or that flyover or that part of the stretch where this incident happened. As of now, the district police, as well as the police chief of the state, the DGP, is quite tight-lipped over the issue. The chief minister took the responsibility to come out and clear the air yesterday, but more questions have come out rather than answers that who allowed the prime minister's convoy to leave Bhatinda while knowing that farmers were still on the protest site or they were blocking that particular flyover.